Action News reporter Tara Edwards is live in Grand Rapids with Reaction. Tara? Outside of a home here on Plainfield in Grand Rapids, we've watched dozens of people stop by here most of the day. And we're also told that there will be several other events planned to honor the victims. Live in Grand Rapids, Tara Edwards, Channel 7 Action News. Bill? Tara, thank you very much. There will be a prayer. This all started when Roderick Dantzler went to one home killing his daughter, her mother, and other family members. Then he went to a different home, killing a former girlfriend and members of her family. Let's take a look now as some key police officer rammed Dantzler's car in this area, and they exchanged shots. Dantzler hit the gas with police on his trail. Stop sticks punctured his tires, but he kept on going. Stop. Then Dantzler got irritated because the remaining hostage was hard of hearing. That's when a third hostage hiding in a closet came out to help negotiations continue. Later, Dantzler turned the gun on himself. Certainly a sad day of events that all unfolded right here in Michigan. I'm Carolyn Clifford. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Carolyn. He is coping. What a horrific tragedy. Tara. Diane and Bill, all day long people have been stopping by this home here along Plainfield in Grand Rapids. Dozens of Ford Museum and the other at Creston High School. And we're told that a Facebook page has been created to honor the victims. Live in Grand Rapids, Tara Edwards, Channel 7 Action News. All right. Thank you, Tara.